back, everyone. It's time now to meet our pet of the week. Dan Rossi from the Palm Springs Animal Shelters here with a rabbit named Finn. She's about two years old and is looking for a loving home. Well, now she's been sitting the whole time and all Look of a sudden the camera comes on. She's like, hey, yeah. it's time to get active. She is so darn cute and Isn't honestly she? the soft. Very, very, very I've soft. Ever felt. Hi, yes. Finn. Finn seems to have uh, some gray hair going on. A little on bit of gray hair, but she's two years old. Mm -hmm. Rabbits live about eight years, so she got lots and lots of life left in her. Nice. Uh, did she come family. from someone else's home, or so, how did you get her? Here's the weird thing. She was found in Demuth Park right across the street from the shelter. Really? This, this is not a wild bunny. This is a domesticated bunny. Aww. So somebody obviously dumped her there, unfortunately. Um, and again, not not a good thing to do to, to a pet rabbit, no. especially with the hawks and the wildlife we yeah, have here absolutely. in the valley. She could have very easily oh, have uh, so cute. had a different ending. But fortunately, we had one of our volunteers was across the street with a dog, saw, and you know, the rabbit came right up to them. So really? It shows how super friendly Finn wow, is. Wow, she really is friendly. Now, my yes. daughter's name is Finn, and just last week, coincidentally, she asked me, Mom, can we have a bunny? And here you, here are. you are. And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> we manifested this. Um, tell me a little bit about the demeanor of bunnies and having a bunny as a pet. What does yeah. that entail? It's very easy care for the most part. It's getting them greens, um, some hay perhaps, and uh, bunny pellets. Easy easy to feed them, easy to take care of. Um, you know, they, of course, do go to the bathroom, but that's easy to clean up. Do they up go on them, like so. a, a potty pad? You, they have a little, they can be litter box trained and oh, go okay. in the litter box, which is great. Does Finn go in the litter box? Finn does go in the litter box. Oh, Hence, great. we even know more that he's a domesticated uh, bunny and again she's super friendly a lot of bunnies are afraid or aloof she's very social and would really be a great pet for an active family um, I walked right up and and Finn was like hey and just was super calm and yeah. I mean uh, friendly like she'll sit on your lap she'll sit on your lap we have her with you. we have her in meetings and she'll sit on the staff's <laughs> lap during the meetings yeah so she is kind of like a lap bunny oh Finn you are just the cutest well if you're looking for a bunny this is the cutest bunny I've seen and and yeah. a friendly bunny is really hard to come, come by, by. Usually, and they're, yes. they're quiet there's right. no barking no barking there's no meowing there's no noise they're exactly. just what about would you would she like sleep in your bed uh, she probably could but I don't know if I would sleep with a bunny in my bed given given the pooping they do oh okay. they kind of just <laughs> Just organically, let it go. yes, okay. exactly. <laughs> so you've got um, also a Valentine's event coming up. Tell me a little we bit about do. that. We do. So we have Share the Love event. It'll be the 10th and 11th, and this is uh, another event where we're really trying to clear out the shelter. We mm. are overwhelmed with uh, mainly large dogs. We continue to be that. So this will be a two-day event where our fees for our animals will be waived. Thank God to Booze wow. Hounds. They're okay. underwriting all the adoption fees again for the shelter and the public as well. So okay. if you're looking to add an animal, a dog, a cat, a bunny to your household, the 10th and 11th is the time to come down to the Palm Springs Animal Shelter. All right, great. Dan, thanks so much for being here. And Finn, I sure hope you get a loving home. You are just the sweetest and the softest. Yes. It's time now to head over to Jerry Steffen and find out what's going on with our weather forecast. Jerry? Yeah, today's the day we've been talking about over the past couple of days. The rain has arrived, most of it to the west of us, as you can see on radar, but heading in our direction. We'll break it down. Closer look at radar the estimates and the timing all coming up. Keep it in.